Hello Earth Signs, Virgo Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today is the 17th of 17th of May and I'm in France. So keep in mind the different time zone. And in this reading, we are going to find out who is thinking heavily about you right now and why. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, spirits and angels, please show me who is thinking heavily about Virgo Taurus and Capricorn right now and why. Show me more. Okay. That's because both of you are not speaking with each other right now. Eight of Wands and the Two of Swords here. Either you have blocked this person or uh, they have blocked you either or or both of you may not just be may not be speaking to each other right now if there's any communication maybe it's just really cold or very little full sort here is in reverse yeah this person is feeling really restless right now because both of you are not speaking right now but it feels like they are quite stubborn i would say um because the king of swords is right here i'm not saying the king of swords is stubborn but the only reason why I feel like they are resisting speaking with you right now, it's because of the judgment here in my verse. So this person may be thinking heavily in regards of um, how it would be a wrong judgment call for them to speak with you right now. Maybe that would be a wrong strategy for them. The hangman is right here because your connection with this person is on hold at a pause. They may be just thinking, thinking a lot about you or they could be planning something right now. But... Um, the reason why they're thinking heavily about you right now because again it feels like they're resisting talking with you they just think that it is not the right time to speak or not the right time to take actions towards you and a bit of a stubborn energy too because the king of swords feels like like <laughs> it doesn't matter he or she is not gender specific right king or queen but it feels like this person thinks it is right this is the right thing to do and they are sticking to their gun, right? So it feels a bit like a stubborn energy. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. And well, first, this is someone that both of you may have planned about the future, may have been in a relationship with uh, in the past, or could be currently but going through some issues right now. But hmm, this person is definitely also thinking heavily about the future, right? Will it materialize? Whatever they've been hoping for, will it... Um, Will it, will the outcome be what they want, which is, you know, a connection that is stable, a connection that is long lasting, or it could just be an indication that both of you are separated right now. And we've got the four ones here. Yeah, this person is definitely thinking heavily in regards of being with you, being in a house with you. I'm not sure, but maybe both of you have lived together in a house or that you have been to their house or that they have been to your house before but they're thinking heavily in regards to that like being in a home with you or it could indicate reconciliation they could be thinking heavily in regards of wanting to reconcile with you the four ones is also a marriage card i feel like for some reason the judgment here in reverse either your person has been married before or that they are a bit how do you say how they see marriage is really I feel like they could be quite jaded right in regards to marriage so they could be thinking heavily like negative things in regards of marriage or building a life together so they could be thinking like they need to make sure that they're 100 percent sure or this is the relationship that is you know but it's going to be a long-lasting one. We've got the Queen of Cups here in my verse. Yeah, they're, they're also thinking heavily in regards of if you are sincere towards them, if you truly, truly love them, if you're genuine towards them. Um, if at one point in time you did emotionally invest, invest in this person, they also may be thinking heavily that maybe you don't love them anymore. Yeah, they're wondering. I'm sensing more like them wondering. Let's see more. This person could be a Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Can be any sign or somebody like you are Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
So five of cups here as a lover. So this person is thinking heavily in regards of the positive things, even though there's some negatives in uh, this connection in regards to this situation maybe that both of you could be facing right now. But they try to look at it in a positive way. Because also we've got the sun here. So they're thinking heavily in regards of how when they were so happy. All the happy times, that's what I'm getting here. Well, the sun can be an indication of illumination, clarity. Perhaps your person or this person is thinking heavily in regards of them needing to have some clarity in regards to this situation. How are things going to pan out? For the both of you, Five Pentacles, is it going to be super hard? Or is it going to be easy? I feel like there are just some doubts here. But also, the sun can be an indication of this person, you know, um, realizing. Realizing that they cannot live without you or that life is harder without you in the picture. And also, we've got the Three of Pentacles and my first... This person is thinking heavily in regards of maybe you will never want to reconcile with them. Maybe both of you um, cannot compromise on something, okay? And we've got the 901s here in my first. They're thinking heavily in regards of maybe they need to put their guards down and offer you here with the Nine of Pentacles a commitment or move towards you, offering you something that is of value to you. They also may be thinking heavily in regards of how maybe you've given up on them um, and that you are somebody very hardworking, right? Nine of Pentacles is the most hardworking knight of all knights. They may be thinking the stability you have provided them, how they could rely on you. But it could also be this person thinking heavily about how they need to move slowly towards you right now and plan accordingly with the king of swords and not rush into things not rush into speaking with you or making a decision they can be indecisive two of swords in an upright position but i feel like hmm, for some reason this is somebody who may have made a decision in regards to you, right? They think they are clear this is what they want. But no, <laughs> it feels like they're thinking like, this is actually not what I want because I'm suffering right now, Five of Pentacles. So this person could be suffering right now. They, maybe they're not doing too well without you in their life for whatever reason, okay? Because we've got the Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, they're thinking heavily in regards of wanting to work on this connection, wanting to return to you, Six of Cups offer you um, an apology or wanting to revisit you. They've been missing you as well. Six of Cups is a missing energy. So this person has been missing you. And they keep thinking about how hardworking you are. <laughs> There's something in their head that they keep thinking, like how, how, how much of a hard worker you are. You've worked so hard in your life or that you maybe have worked so hard in your connection with them and i feel like they want to visit you six of cups here this person wants to revisit you or visit you this is someone you've known for a long time or a while or that you have an experience or history with this person and eight of cups here is a lover so this person is stuck they can't move on because this person could be thinking that you are the one whom is the most genuine, right? Six of Cups, children, these two are like children. So the most genuine, um, I wouldn't say naive, but it could be naive if, if you fall into the hand of the wrong person. <laughs> Maybe for some of you, you've fallen into the, in the hand of this person where they may have used your na navi naivety is that a word Na navi naivety your innocence <laughs> your innocence they could have made use of your innocence your true love your genuine love they could have made use of that right um but i feel like this person may have been thinking heavily right now that they couldn't find somebody like you are Home is that sincere, right? So definitely you are very rare to them. And hence, we've got the devil here. This person is thinking heavily how 
they cannot disconnect with you no matter what no matter how hard they have tried even if both of you are not speaking with each other even if they were to not respond to your messages or ignoring you all of that because the king of swords indicates somebody very cold as well even if they were to be treating you coldly thinking they could move on from you but this person cannot move on from you no matter what so this person is also very obsessive over you the devil can indicate an obsessive energy and the devil can also indicate you know maybe you are the best lover that they have ever had like in terms of physical intimacy so they can't move on this person can't move on from the fact that how you may be their first love or the someone the first person they've all ever that they've ever fallen in love with because six of cups again can indicate children so it's like a young love mm. so they may be thinking heavily about you right now because they cannot find a love like yours right like how you made them feel but they're thinking heavily in regards of how you wouldn't want to compromise with them maybe you've given up on them now they are realizing it but they're hoping for a chance five pentacles because they're not doing well in their life right now things are not working out for them and maybe it could be career it could be their personal uh, life an eight of wands here is someone first both of you are not speaking with each other right now and this person thinks about you all the time usually usually when they're laying in bed or usually when if they were to see something that they that reminds them of you could be food could be places could be just how you made them feel right you made them feel so happy at one point in time but this person is trying to you know stick to their stick to their gun this person doesn't really want to take actions towards you because they're so slow not a pentacles but the intention is to do so they may be thinking it's a wrong judgment call maybe they need more time they could also be thinking heavily in regards of if you have gotten married if you've gotten into a new relationship all right earth signs Virgo, taurus and capricorn this is your reading hope you, uh, hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with my latest video it's a cooking video <laughs> that i just posted not long ago from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel and also i'll leave you with a playlist on the screen this playlist has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions but um these readings are still valid because you guys know that i post your videos almost every single day so click on it it says bonus compilation reading click on it scroll all the way down look for your sign and also i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below. Take care. Bye.